Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah. Koholoyma, ya wabashim ya washai, bahashim rkhahakotash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who do real well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all you Akim and Nakawaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Jachanan Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying. And um wanted to touch on a couple of articles that I seen. This right this one right here is a um I remember this from a while, while back, I think around the time when the story first dropped. But this is the same um Let's just get the title. It says, um, Black Woman, an inspiring story about adopting three white children and giving them a loving home. Now, that's what you call Stockholm Syndrome times a thousand. You see, out of all the children she could have helped, she knows that her own people are in. Um, she may not necessarily know that we're still in captivity, but she knows the things that we go through as a people. She could have easily helped three so-called black children but why are you helping the, the, the enemy out why are you helping out the oppressor they have plenty of people that could have adopted them if not then fuck them <laughs> you know but she could have put that energy towards three so-called black children that needs just as much love or even if shit fuck just as much more love because as a people we've been downtrodden and matter of fact we've been downtrodden so hard to the point that uh, 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 our people would do stupid shit like this and then they'll throw it up in the news as if it's just this beautiful thing. Oh, look at her heart. She's such a sweet person. And, and this is rare, too, because generally, you know what I'm saying? The so-called white race, you know, now, yeah, generally they'll adopt our children. You don't really see so-called blacks adopting um, so-called white children, man. You know, but anyway, all this lovey dubby, all this old, we're all the human race, we're all one race, the human race. That's not true, man. That is not um, scriptural. The Lord is still going to judge the so-called white race for what they've done to the children of Israel. Because see, what she don't understand is if she's if she's really a so-called black woman, which she could be a damn tear. <laughs> you know what? If she really is a so-called black woman, she is an Israelite from the from the tribe of Judah. And that the Lord, yeah, how was which the world eagerly calls Jesus? He's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. Here she go. She's embracing the enemy, bringing the enemy into her home. Feeding, clothing the enemy for nothing. <laughs> so it's actually really fucking stupid, man. But anyway, let me grab a quick scripture. I'm gonna come back to the next article, and this is not gonna be a long, um, a long um, lesson. I just seen it, and I'm like, wow. Then I seen another one. I'm like, well, all right, by the spirit, you know, let's do something with it. Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So you can join hands with the so-called white man. You're not going to be able to save them now because the Lord has already set forth judgment for those people. And if you get involved or if you try and get in the way, you're going to get judged right along with them. You can join hands with them. You can kumbaya with them. You can Martin Luther King, Martin Rosa Parks. You can do all these things. But that's not going to stop the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. These people are going directly into slavery for what they've done because they're going to reap what they've been sowing for so long. Um, Proverbs 16 and 5 it says everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination and this is a very proud people the so called white man Esau Edom that's their biblical nationality they are very very proud and they're gonna they, they, you know <laughs> it says everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination and as a nation or a race of people they are an abomination man abominable to Yahweh it says though hand joined in hand he shall not be unpunished so you can join hands with them all you want to. Oh, we're just, you know, it's just one race, the human race. In the meanwhile, the so-called white man, he has everything looking down upon you. Coming up with laws and curriculums for you. Trying to change your little boys into little girls and little girls into little boys. And you don't have no power in your hands to even fight that shit. But here you go talking about how even we are and, and all this diversity and all this, you know, uh, race relations and shit. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> this is what's going to go down for them. Let's get this revelation. 13. Because they have to pay for what their forefathers done. And you have a lot of them that say, hey, I had nothing to do with that. I didn't do anything. You know, that that was a long time ago. But it doesn't matter. The Lord is still going to make them pay. 
See, they look at, see, people be looking at time on earth as if it's the same type of time with Yahweh. Time with Yahweh, the scripture talks about how on um, one day, what is it, um, like a thousand years is like one day to the Lord. But you look at, you know, these couple of, you know, these couple of centuries that we've been here and be like, God, oh, that was a long time ago. Why don't you guys forget about that? Well, the Lord said that he required with that which is past, man. But this is Revelation 13. I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now that person might say, Oh, well, I've never individually done nothing like that. But it's not going off into individual, um, um, uh, individual type of thing right here. This is going off into a nation. Because, let's go back. Let's go into Job 34. Because the Lord, he deals with nations of people and he deals with the individuals within those nations. If you have an ear to understand, Job 34 and 29. And this is speaking, um, you know, this is Yahweh. Which the world ignorantly calls, you know, they call him all these different names or whatever. You know, I had one guy at camp yesterday, was like he has many names. No, he has many titles, but he has one name. And that one name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. He is to be. And this is what's being said here. It says, um, Job 34 and 29, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? See, so the Lord, he deals with nations of people. So you so-called white people, you're going to have to deal with what your ancestors done. And you can claim, ah, oh, well, I didn't do anything, but let's get this. Isaiah 14 and 21, I think it is here. Let me see. And I'll grab this next article. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. See that? It says, prepare slaughter for, the, for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. So you have the same way we had to pay for our, what, what, what our fathers done. Matter of fact, I was in, um, what is that, Lamentation? So lock it, bear with me. Yeah, Lamentations 5 and 7. It says, our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. So it was our forefathers that sinned, but here we are in captivity. We didn't, you know, pretty much, I mean, overall, when you understand the scriptures, there's a such thing as reincarnation, if you understand that. But as far as like, you know, just physically, just being on the earth right now, we didn't, you know, <laughs> you know, we, we can actually say, well, we didn't have anything to do with that. But we know that by the spirit, we actually did, because by the spirit, we were actually those people. You know, our forefathers, you know, because there's a such thing as reincarnation. But that's another lesson. Let's go back off into here. Let's get this next article. I'm not going to even read off into none of this. You can clearly see she has that big dumbass smile on her face. And this is Stockholm Syndrome. This is what the, that's what Stockholm Syndrome is when you. um. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should. Yeah. Says she. Uh, <laughs> Let me get this part at least. She says, from being mistaken as the children's babysitter. Well, why the fuck would somebody think you're their, their, their mother? You would be confused as the babysitter. You look like the babysitter. It says, to, to being told she was continuing a slave mentality, which she is. She has heard it all. She lost her mother when she was just six years old. She now wants other children to at least experience the love of a mother that she could not. Here you go, uh, a single so-called black woman raising three so-called white kids. You know you done lost your damn mind. Come on, man. But this is the, this is the, this lets you know how downtrodden we are. And, and when you read through the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, man, you can see that we are those, those, those people, man. Destroyed, completely destroyed to the point that she would go and adopt not one, not two, but three of her enemies, man. <laughs> Ooh, wee boy and she don't have no idea them kids going right into slavery anyway let's go back to this this other article this one is another one um with dolly pardon and who knows dolly pardon how she could be a she could be a jake man she could be an e never can't tell but it says man reveals dolly pardon sponsored uniforms at black high schools without any publicity for years so when you see and this is the same um you know um magazine or whatever this is but when you see stories like this, what they're trying to do is, it, it, it's pseudoscience. They're trying to 
make you, you, you know, make you stop and say, well, see, not all white people, not all white people are bad. But when they look at you Negroes, they look at you all the same. They look at you all the same. They don't give a shit if you in a suit and tie or if you in a hoodie. <laughs> you the same as the nigga in the suit and tie. If you in a hoodie, the same. I mean, it, it, that's the way they look at you. But that's why scripture, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. So if, if Dolly Parton is a, is a so-called white woman or an Edomite, that's their biblical name. We like to put that out there because people need to know that these people are not white people. No one looks like a glass of milk. That's a social construct that they came up with. They don't want to admit to the fact that biblically they are the Edomites, the red people. <laughs> but this is, you know, just Stockholm syndrome from us being in this country for so long. And not just in this country. It, you know, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We've just been the perfect slave for the past 500 or so years. And now, you know, the, the men of the Lord are starting to come out on the highways and byways and teach that, hey, we are the children of Israel and that the, the heathen nations that enslaved us for this amount of time, they're going into captivity themselves. And no one wants to hear it. They, they, <laughs> as a matter of fact, a lot of them don't even think it's possible because they're going about their everyday lives. Nothing is going wrong. You know, we're, we're, we're the U.S. of A. We have the most powerful military on the planet and all this. Look at us with all that goddamn pride. But 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 that pride is what's going to help them fall. But the point that I wanted to make again was that though people do stuff like this, it's not going to make no difference. They can give up all the reparations. They can give up all the money in the world. They can give up everything. Matter of fact, they could they could <laughs> they could they, they can give up. They could just give up everything that they've ever stolen. And it's not going to help them out of um, what's to come. It's not going to help them out of that punishment. They have judgment um, um, that they have to. Um, take on man it's just that it's that simple they, they they're going to take on that judgment and the scripture talks about though it tarry wait for it and this is what we're patiently and faithfully waiting for matter of fact did i get a let's go back into the, that revelation 13 again it says revelation 13 i'm gonna start at verse 9 again it says if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity that's what they've done to us they led us into captivity. They have to go into captivity. And it's going to happen to them as a nation of people. It's not going to be a few individuals just, oh, well, it was him. I had nothing to know. As a whole entire race of people, the ones that never even owned a slave, they're going into it too. They're going into slavery too. Because it's a nationality type of thing. This is a, The Lord is sending you into slavery as a race of people. Look at what you've done to the earth. You have to pay for all the things that you've done, and especially to the children of Israel. It says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And this is what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. You know, this is why we do, you know, we're, we're trying to work out our salvation, man, you know, by doing these lessons. But when we think about the reward, and this is just a portion of the reward, man, that we're going to, you know, be able to get, get back, get our leg back, man. <laughs> that's a part of the uh a part of the uh the rewards that's coming in the future man for the for the men that are of the elect that are chosen of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man that's out here doing his work man and it's a beautiful thing and you, you brothers man y'all gotta you know hey if you know about the scriptures you have a phone you have a laptop you have anything I mean, even if you don't have those things, you can still go out on the highways and byways and just it may not be recorded, but you can go on the highways and byways, man, and, 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 and bring out the truth. If it's nothing but for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, go out, man, and speak, man, and, and talk about these things, man. You can't just be kicked back and holding up. You know, you know this truth and you're not doing anything. You're not doing no work. You're just sitting back and watching everybody work, man. It's not cool. The Lord is going to deal. You know, you at least want to say, <laughs> I put my all in, man. I put my best in. I, I done what I could do by the spirit. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. And, and again, man, hey, we're living in beautiful times. And, and, and you're about to see, see a lot of, see a lot of Jake, a lot of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What you're about to witness is you're about to see while we've been teaching and preaching this, this particular um, doctrine. For so long because the so-called white man he's about to show you how much he really hates you that this same so-called black women right here 
<laughs> Let's go back to this. This did a uh, big Shirley right here. Big Shirley. If she lives around these so-called white people when everything, when shit hits the fans, they're going to run her ass off. And those children are not coming with her. <laughs> For real. And, and it wouldn't surprise me if, 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 if something happened to her ass, man, from one of these children. You know? While well, she's all proud as hell, which you're proud as hell with that big ass, dumb ass smile on your face. You proud to be raising an enemy when you could have easily been taking care of some, some, some people. Come on, man. That don't even make no kind of sense, bro. Here you go. Your people out here doing all kinds of bad, but you will go and get and, and, and take on the enemy and feed the enemy and clothe the enemy and house the enemy. Because these people are our enemies, man. <sighs> Fucking saddening. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.